here's your assignment for today. I'll take you through each of the questions in it so you'll know what to do. On the first page, you're going to draw each shape. First, draw a rhombus. Remember, the rhombus is the one that has equal sides and is similar to a diamond. Think about the blue pattern block. In this box, you need to draw a square. And in this box, you need to draw a hexagon. Now, I know that drawing with the crayon tools up here is quite difficult, so just do your best. You can also check this one above the text box. It has a picture of a circle. This has some shapes in it, but not all of them. If it has one of the shapes you need, you can use this. On this page, you're going to be coloring shapes depending on what they are. You're going to color any triangles you see yellow. You're going to color any rectangles that you see red. And you're going to color hexagons blue. Remember, hexagons have six sides. On this page, you're going to look at each box and cross out the shape that doesn't belong. So let's look at this box here. There are three shapes. Which shape doesn't belong in this family, in this box? I think it's this one, because all the other shapes have three sides, but this one has four sides. So I would take my crayon tool and cross that one out. On page four, you're going to circle the hexagons. Some of these don't look like the usual hexagon that you see, like the pattern block shape, but count the sides and you'll be able to figure it out. A trick that I use when I'm counting the sides of a shape is I make a little mark to tell me that I counted that. So one, two, three, four, five, six six sides, so this first one is a hexagon. I'll let you do the other ones on your own. On the last page, this is the one where you might want to come back to this video to hear the directions. This shape is a triangle. Your job is going to be to circle the reasons that this shape is a triangle. What makes a triangle a triangle? So, if it's true, you'll circle it. Is this a triangle because it has three sides? If that's true and it's a triangle because it has three sides, you'll circle it. The second one says, it's a triangle because the sides are all the same length. Is that true? Do triangles have to have sides that are the same length? If it's true, you can circle it, and if it's not true, leave it alone. Sentence number three. Is this a triangle because it has three corners? Do all triangles have three corners? If they do, and it's true, we'll circle it. If not, we won't do anything. Last one. Is this a triangle because it has three square corners? If you forget a square corner, oh, excuse me, uh, you can check if something has a square corner by making a sticky note and putting it into a corner. So you can see that this one right here is not a square corner because it's not the L shape that is in the corner of a square. I'll leave this sticky note in the corner to help you. Let's call it the square corner tool. So do all triangles have to have three square corners? If it's true, and they do, you'll circle this. And if it's not true, triangles can have square corners, but they don't have to, then we will leave it alone. Honestly, we've already said, checked that because we've figured out that this triangle has a corner that is not square. So I will just give you a hand there and let's just 
cross that out because we know that triangles don't have to have three square corners. All right, if you need any help with this assignment, you can come to one of the meetings and we will answer questions about it. That's all for this video. I'll see you in the next one.